What's in a name? Well, for hurricanes, it can be a lot, and there are key reasons they are named in the first place. Here's a list of 21 of them for the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. It goes through every letter of the alphabet except Q, U, X, Y, and Z, because how many names can you think of that begin with the letter X? A tropical wave officially gets a name when its organized center of circulation packs winds of 39 miles per hour, making it a tropical storm. There are six lists of names in rotation. The names used this year will be used again in 2030. If a storm is so impactful that it will be remembered for years to come, the name is retired and no longer used. There will never be another Hurricane Katrina, Irma, Maria, or Ian. The last time this current list was used was in 2018. Florence had soaked the Carolinas in record rain, and Michael slammed the Florida Panhandle as one of the strongest U.S. landfalls on record. Both names are retired and replaced with Francine and Milton, which make their debut this year. I names, they're notorious for being retired. Of 96 names retired since 1954, 14 begin with the letter I, that's more than any other letter. This year, the forecast calls for up to 25 named storms, meaning we could simply run out of names. This only happened twice, once in 2005 and again in 2020. The World Meteorological Organization used to resort to using the Greek alphabet, but now there's a backup list of names starting again at A. The World Meteorological Organization maintains and updates the naming system that started in 1953. The practice of naming started years before that to help media report on storms and to engage public interest as warnings were issued. At first, it was arbitrary. Names were pegged for locations impacted. When meteorologists started to use more organized alphabetical lists, they only used women's names. It wasn't until 1979 that men's names were added to the list.